Okay. So now we're going to question 2.2.4. So question 2.2.4 read as follows. How many consecutive first differences were added to the first term of the quadratic pattern to obtain or to obtain a term of a quadratic pattern of value to 21,060? How many consecutive first differences were added to the first term of the quadratic pattern to obtain a term of the quadratic pattern that has a value of 21,060? So, this is our quadratic equation, our quadratic pattern. It had negative 3, 6, 27, 60, and so on. So, our first difference is this. So, we have 9, we have 21, we have 12. So, see, look at this. To get each term, you must add the difference. Continue going forward. So, to get the 6, to get the 6, you add 9, then, then you get the 6, then add 21, you get that one. You add 12, you get 60. You add the next term, then you get the next term. The list goes on. It continued that way. So this one is constant all the way. So I'm sure you can find the next term. For example, you see here, this has the this is the pattern that has the common difference. So it's more like you're adding 12, 12, so you have 24. So if you wanted the next term after this, it would be 84. The fourth term. So now they have given you that you have uh, you can pause this question and read the question yourself. So you have at some point the term 21,060. 21,000, ah, oh, I'm not here. 21,060. Which belongs to this pattern, or the quadratic pattern. So let's say we have 21,060 here. Let's say this term was somewhere here. This here. So, they're asking you, how many of these terms did you add there in order to achieve this, to, in order to get this number? So, they're asking you, how many terms from this first difference you must add in order to get to term which is this value, which is the term 21,060, which belongs to this pattern. So, you are told that, you are told that this term belongs to this pattern. So, how many terms do you have to get there? You must add in order to obtain this. So, there are many ways to solve this problem. So, what I come with first in mind, which I think would be the easier way. You see that if on the second term you added one, on the third term you added two terms to get that. On the fourth term you added three terms to get that. So if that is term number 100, if that is term number 100, that means you would have to add 99 terms of the second pattern. So now, the first option that I would do is to find how many, what, uh, where does this number belong on this pattern, this pattern? Where does it fit? So its position on this quadratic pattern. So that's the first thing that you should do. Find the position of this. Once you find the position, so it should just be that position minus one because these ones are lacking by one. So, uh, the, the general formula for this plus Tn is equal to 
uh, 6n squared minus 9. So now you have that this is 21,060. 21,060 is equal to 6n squared minus 9n. So you have 0 is equal to uh, 6n squared transposed to this side minus 9n minus 21,060. So you uh, um, factorize this or use the quadratic equation. So n is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ec all over 2a. So let's continue to the next side. So we're going to substitute this here. Then we we'll find our value. So, say six n squared uh, uh, minus nine n minus twenty one thousand and sixty is equal to zero. So, n is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, n is equal to negative b, how b is minus 9 plus or minus square root b squared, which is negative 9 squared minus 4a, which is 6c, which is 21,060, all over 2a. Our a is 6. When you touch this, your n is equal to, or your n is equal to, so you will have two n values. So let's quickly punch this on our calculator. So negative 9 plus square root negative 9 squared minus 4 into 6 is into 21,060 all over 2a which is 6 um, oh sorry so it's negative negative 21,060 I'm just positive 21,060 so the discriminant will be negative, so it will be negative if you label that out. So if this discriminant is zero, then there are no values to the to this equation. So your n is 60, then your second n value, negative 58, 5. So let's leave this out. So only focus on the negative term because we assume that our term, our sequence, run for strictly positive integers, which is from one going forward. So our so is this one. So our the assumption for these patterns for grade twelve is that they strictly run for uh, strictly positive integers. Or yeah, strictly positive integers from one going forward. So. We find out that our the 21,000 is the 60th term. So that means you will have, so 21,060 is the 60th term. Therefore, we need To add fifty nine first term, fifty nine, fifty nine terms from the first difference. So, which means that on the first difference, we must add fifty nine terms from the first difference in order 
to get 21,006, which means now we must add 59 of the first term of the uh, terms from the first uh, defense sequence. So from this sequence, we must add 59 terms in order to obtain 21,060. So this is why this question ends. I'm not sure if you're not happy with the way I did it, but it should be.